Back to Blender Sushi Live Noting, in this episode I will be sharing with you uh, the geometry node setup that creates this rainbow arc basically inspired by uh, Apple Park uh, rainbow arc okay so it's really simple um, lots of things actually you can of course create using geometry nodes some of them are really more complicated this one is like a simple one that you can create uh, yourself so the idea is of course you start with like a half circle and then you make instance and then you assign this rainbow color materials so I started with just a simple geometry that I simply replace using geometry nodes so I started with a default cube I assign geometry nodes I have seven oh, actually six materials like a rainbow over here so it's a preset materials where later on I assign this way so I need to do it in this uh, order but let's start with the actual setup so I start with a half circle this is pretty simple I can change the resolutions and it's gonna actually change the final result maybe this is maybe this setup is not 100% perfect but you can kind of understand what's going on so half circle you can you can control the original uh, resolutions of the circle and then get the curve length the actual circle length multiply that by half and assign it into trim curve so this is like to get the half circle you need to ensure that you actually make it non-cyclic so you can trim it okay the next thing I did was just simply to rotate the curve because originally of course it's like a circle and I rotate it 90 degree so it's become like an arc okay so and after I do that I have this curve line that I resemble this is just a simple lines and I simply resemble it a number of times so it's create this arc okay so it's a everything is really basic just like an array that you duplicate and then I instance the half curve into the curve line uh, I didn't do anything here the next thing I think this one might uh, might be the interesting one so this number I put 9 this is actually in relation to this number maybe I should have put 10 over here here we have control over the the scale of the half arc so it depending it's dependent on this count so a better way is to have a value float to integer so this value should control that number and this number so let's give it maybe 8 arc and this is to control the smallest and the largest arc I'll make it I'll just keep it like this for now the next thing I did was to scale the instance of the half arc and then I realized the instance and I use curve to match so this one is important and also I'm using kite quadrilateral to get this uh, result you can use just a just a basic circle plug this into the profile and you have like a donut so it's totally totally up to you how you want to create the circle so the next thing I did you see this index this is actually the index is controlling the color of the rainbow and also the scale of the arc here I this is a setup I think I should just join it. Command J. 
assigning the material in this order and then I set the material index I can randomize but in this case it's just in order so this is what's happening next actually I need to calculate the total number of phase in order to get like the perfect uh, number of phase and then so we can assign the color of the rainbow for each and every arc it's kind of this this animation is cool I think okay if you want it to be random of course you can random number between one one and seven I think depending on the number of material you assign it okay this is random you might notice that the random is actually applied into every single phase this might not be what you want but just to give you give you the idea because at this point after we realize instances we actually are turning it into a real mesh or a real curve and then so it's become a single mesh so you are basically what's happening here we are randomizing each and every polygon phase maybe not what you want so this is perhaps this one is better again but this is not perfect we might need to get the attribute statistic and get the number of phase and then assign this into this guy and get the mean value and plug this into this guy oops float face what is this attribute maybe the index yeah it might not be what you want okay this might be anyway something along that index and uh, the numbering don't worry about that we just gonna do it manually for now we just guess the number the total number of the polygon face and we're gonna just plug this in this way so we get a, like the rainbow color okay so you can of course increase an, increase the number of array you can play around with this and then you can also play around with the the radius the actual minimum and maximum you can actually make this like a simple arc this is kind of nice and you can use this to make like a tunnel so that's nice if you want to make it circular you perhaps you can do it this way i haven't test this out but yeah and but you need to rotate based on the arc i i what is the tilt? Is that the tilt? Tilt of the curve should go into the rotations. Curve tangent. One of these, anyway, it's not always very clear. Okay, yep. This is probably also what you want. Okay, yeah, so it's a it's a really simple setup. Again, uh, it's just a half curve being instance, and then you, you assign different material, but this is like a a basic uh, ideas that you can implement and just create your own setup
so yeah this is because the number of the curve have changed now we have to increase the number of polygon face that it's resembling for the colorations of the rainbow all right so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye